Good morning if you're in Australia and good evening if you're in America. Sorry you're looking at my wall but you don't need to see me in my poncho and Ugg boots at this hour. As you can see from the clock it's quarter past seven. I need to get ready for work soon. But as you know I'm following the Joshua Brown case and there has been an arrest uh, and three suspects have been identified in the murder of Joshua Brown, who was a key witness in the murder trial of former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger. Now, the Twitters are alive with comments about it, and there's a lot to this story. I'm really just going to give you the basic information and a quick little update, and also pop over to Twitter and give you an idea of some of the conversations that are occurring. I'm just going to grab my coffee as well. I think there's going to be a lot that comes out of this case, which we indicated the other day. Um, but just to give you the background information, I'm on the NBC News website and this story broke about 52 minutes ago. So three suspects have been identified and they are Jacarius Mitchell, or Jacarius, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce his name, uh, age 20, Michael Mitchell, 32, and Thaddeus Green, 22. Now, according to this article, they travelled from Alexandria, Louisiana, to purchase drugs from Brown in the parking lot of a Dallas apartment complex. Jacarius Mitchell is in custody at a hospital, and the other two suspects are being sought, according to Dallas Assistant Police Chief Avery Moore at a news conference. Now, they two, the two fugitives are believed to be armed and dangerous. The news conference is on YouTube if you want to have a look at that. Jacarius Mitchell told police that Green got into a physical altercation with Brown and that Green shot Brown twice in the lower body. Brown then allegedly shot Jacarius Mitchell in his chest. So that's according to this uh, suspect who's been arrested, he's saying that Joshua Brown then turned on Jacarius Mitchell, shot him in the chest. Jacarius Mitchell fell back into a car, said he heard two gunshots. Green took Joshua Brown's backpack and the gun that was used to shoot Jacarius Mitchell and then they fled, in, fled the scene in the car. The suspects dropped Jacarius Mitchell off at a hospital, according to the assistant police chief, and at, he added that warrants will be executed for the two other suspects. Michael Mitchell is the suspected getaway driver. Police have confiscated from Joshua Brown's apartment 12 pounds of marijuana, 149 grams of THC cartridges, and $4,157 in cash. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson has asked the public in a tweet over the weekend to refrain from speculation about Brown's shooting and police emphasised at Tuesday's news conference that Joshua Brown's killing was not related to his testimony in Geiger's case. So based on, on that, the speculations about it being an act of re retaliation have been quashed by the looks of it. Um, but there is a lot more coming out of this case, which I will cover shortly when we look at, look at what's been discussed on Twitter, on Lee Merritt's page. Um, just continuing on with the article, the rumours shared by community leaders that Mr Brown's death was related to the Amber Geiger trial and that the Dallas Police Department was responsible are false. We encourage those leaders to be mindful because their words may jeopardise the integrity of the City of Dallas and the Dallas Police Department. For those of you who aren't following this story, just a bit of background as well. Joshua Brown, aged 28, gave evidence in the Amber Geiger trial regarding the death of Botham Jean, the murder of Botham Jean. Um, and Brown was found last Friday lying on the ground in an apartment parking lot with gunshot wounds. And it was two days after Amber Geiger was convicted of murder. Joshua's uh, slaying occurred less than six miles from the apartment complex where he, Botham Jean, his neighbour, and Anth uh, Am Amber Geiger, I need to call her Anthony, so I'm still waking up, sorry, um, fatally shot him. But they all lived in that apartment complex and Joshua Brown testified in Amber Geiger's murder trial. There's been um, a lot of 
conversation about the murder conviction, which people were delighted because it looked like at the time a manslaughter conviction was more likely. But then she was sentenced to 10 years prison, which is more like a manslaughter sentence than a murder one. So there's been a lot of discussion about that. I'm just going to jump now to Lee Merritt's Twitter page to give you a bit of an idea of the discussions that are going on there. And at some point during the week, I will try to go live so we can have a really good chat about it. But I recommend you hop onto Twitter, Lee Merritt's uh, profile. It's S dot Lee Merritt, comma Esquire or ESQ with a full stop at the end of it. So his most recent tweet says, oh, I just went back. How do I go forwards? I can't. Hang on. I knew I would do that. I had all the conversation and discussion open. Um, just give me a moment. If I do this, I'm going to lose it again. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, sorry about this unprofessionalism of me. Why isn't it not opening up to his profile? I had a really good tweet of, here we go. Not a really good tweet. I shouldn't say that it's awful, but I think there's going to be a lot of discussion, which is, um, yeah, in all kinds of aspects. Um, the family of Joshua Brown have put a statement out. Hang on, I'm going to read this out. Um, October the 8th, 2019. It's on Lee Merritt's letterhead. Read statement from the family of Joshua Brown. On behalf of the family of Joshua Brown, this office encourages the Dallas Police Department to turn over this murder investigation to an alternate investigative agency. This family and their representatives have consciously avoided speculating about law enforcement involvement in this tragedy. However, due to the proximity of this murder with the trial of Amber Geiger, rumours abound. It will be nearly impossible to conduct a reliable investigation in a climate where the investigating agency has been implicated in the murder itself. That implication naturally stems from a trial where a Dallas police officer was convicted of murder and other DPD officers were shown to have participated in condemnable behaviour in destroying evidence and interfering with the investigation. It's important for everyone involved that this case not only be solved, but the conclusions arrived to by investigators be seen as authentic and reliable. A cloud of suspicion will rest over this case until steps are taken to ensure the trustworthiness of the process. The Brown family would like to extend their heartfelt gratitude to everyone around the country that has offered them support and encouragement during their time of bereavement. So that's a statement from the family of Joshua Brown. Um, but the tweet that I did actually want to discuss briefly before finishing this video um, was from Lee Merritt two hours ago, announcing that the Dallas Police Department has made an arrest in the case involving the slaying of Joshua Brown. Chief Hall will hold a press conference at 1 p.m. CST, and that is actually already up on YouTube. I continue to urge Dallas PD to... Uh, he says recuse, R-E-C-U-S-E, -E. I'm not familiar with that word, recuse. Uh, challenge as unqualified to perform legal duties because of a potential conflict of interest or lack of impartiality. There you go, that's not a term that's used commonly in Australian courts, or at least wasn't back in my day. Um, so he's essentially saying, you know, that the Dallas Police Department needs to remove themselves from the investigation. The reliability of any arrest prosecution will be undermined by their involvement. Um, but when you open up the responses to that tweet, there's a lot of discussion indicating um, all kinds of issues. Um, Lee Merritt has tweeted nine hours ago, the state knew Joshua Brown didn't want to testify due to concerns for his safety. He flew to California when the trial began. They threatened him with jail if he didn't return. He went straight from the airport to the court. Dallas County had, had a duty to protect him. They failed. So, yeah, this story, it's, I mean, it looks like from the 
the information coming out about Joshua's actual murder, that it was drug related. Um, and Lee Merritt is also saying that the state were aware that Joshua Brown didn't want to testify. He was worried about his safety. Um, he flew to California and was essentially threatened with jail if he didn't return. And isn't it sad to think if he hadn't have returned, he'd be in jail now and would still be alive. Um, it says that he went straight from the airport to the court. Dallas County had a duty to protect him. They failed. And there's a lot of comments also on that particular, in response to that particular tweet as well. Um, there's a lot of uh, criticism of the judge and the courts for making him come back for that particular trial. And yeah, this story is going to be bigger than um, we imagined. I mean, it was certainly, uh, when the story broke, it was certainly going to cause a lot of, or lead to a lot of discussion and conversation. Um, but now these, this information coming about, about him not wanting to give evidence and he was worried about his safety um, is really concerning. So there's going to have to be a lot of discussion um, about this and investigation because there's some pretty full on allegations. I mean, you've got tweets responding to Lee Merritt, things like, they need to be held accountable for his death. All of them, the judge, the, that corrupt, evil police department, all of them. Um, Mandy tweets, I'm furious. They did not need his testimony in the Amber Geiger trial. He was not a key witness. I'm with the judge. He should not have come. So what if they put him in jail? He would still be alive. There you go. Um, that's pretty much the same feeling I had. Um full dissident, they asked him to be a citizen, then threatened him to be one and then exposed him to death. So yeah, there's a lot of lively discussion and it's pretty sad. Um, a lot of fingers are being pointed at, you know, who should be held accountable. Um, there's another tweet here, impeachment time is right now. Republicans and white people, please pay attention here. We black people and Democrats are really pissed about this woman, even though she is a black. She's, they're referring to the judge. It doesn't matter that she looks like her. She is abhorrent and a disgrace to the judiciary and America. Um, there's a lot, a lot of comments, a lot of um, finger pointing. It's, it's absolutely awful. Um, I feel so much for his family and... They've put out a press statement saying the Dallas Police Department shouldn't have anything to do with this investigation either. So um, that's information. If you want to get up to date information on it, if you're following it as well, I think Lee Merritt on Twitter is the way to go. Um, he's being very vocal. He represents uh, Joshua's family. Um, he was also involved with both of John's family and he's probably the one they want to watch for ongoing discussion. But I really just wanted to get the news out that at the moment there is one suspect who has been arrested. He was taken to hospital with bullet wounds that he claims Joshua Brown shot him. Um, but the other two suspects are on the loose and they are considered armed and dangerous. And just giving you the names again, the one that's been arrested is Shakirius Mitchell, age 20, who is already speaking with police because information's trickling out about what happened on the night Joshua Brown was murdered and the two other suspects that are on the run armed and dangerous are Michael Mitchell aged 32 and Thaddeus Green aged 22. So hopefully I can do a live soon where we can all have a discussion. I want to keep reading um, up on this and get more information, make some notes about it but yes this case is huge and it seems like it was the result of a drug deal um, that appears to have gone wrong, well, obviously, with guns being drawn and so on, but there's discussion that it was a drug deal. So people that are speculating it was retaliation regarding um, what happened in Amber Geiger's trial that has been debunked. Um, there was speculation that it was gang-related, 
there's there was a speculation or there's all kinds of speculation but um it looks like it had something to do with drugs so very very sad news um and not sad news that someone's been arrested but the whole joshua brown thing very sad news and there's a lot of conversation on twitter that will shed some light on what's been discussed but yeah this this amber guy trial amber geiger trial isn't over just because she's now locked up for 10 years as a convicted murderer there's a lot that's going to unravel and is unraveling as we speak anyway i hope you all have a good day or good evening whatever you're up to and i'll be back with more updates as they come in um take care everyone stay groovy talk soon